liquids conduct one in this chapter we will learn about chemical effects of electric current and the conductivity of liquids first let us understand what is electrical conduction electrical conduction is the movement of electrically charged particles through a transmission medium a conductor is an object or type of material which permits the flow of electric charges in one or more directions the materials which allow electric current to pass through them are called as good conductors of electricity and the materials which do not allow electric current to pass through them easily are called as poor conductors of electricity metals like copper silver aluminium etc conduct electricity and are called as good conductors of electricity whereas materials like rubber plastic and wood do not conduct electricity and are called as poor conductors of electricity under certain conditions even some of the poor conductors can conduct the electricity hence it is preferred to classify the material as good conductors and poor conductors instead of classifying as conductors and insulators for example air is a non conductor however during lightning an electric current passes through air we use testers to test whether a particular material allows electric current to pass through it or not now let us prepare a tester take small bulb two wires of same length a rubber band and a battery to test now stretch the rubber band and fix the battery in it so that the rubber band touches both the ends of the battery now attach the two wires to the rubber band each towards one side make sure one is touching the positive terminal and the other is touching the negative terminal of the battery now attach the other ends of the wires to bulb we can see the bulb glowing this indicates that the tester is working now cut one of the wire which is connecting the bulb and one end of the battery into two so that we can immerse these two ends in the liquid to check its conductive nature now let us use this tester to test various liquids and to know whether liquids conduct electricity or not take a plastic or rubber cap of discarded bottle and clean it pour 1 teaspoon of lemon juice in the cap bring your tester over this cap and let the ends of the tester dip into lemon juice and you observe that the bulb of the tester is glowing so from this activity we can say that liquids also conduct electricity the other liquids which act as conductors are salt water tap water etc however pure water is not a conductor of electricity we can also use leds in the place of electric bulb to prepare tester led consists of two wires attached to it and these wires are called as leads one lead is slightly longer than the other while connecting a led to a circuit the longer lead is always connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the shorter lead is connected to the negative terminal of the battery